Do you ever want to be a bird? How about a barn owl? Let's fly up this mountain valley created by the small stream called Banjo Branch. We're just west of Mars Hill, North Carolina, approaching the Smith Farm on Bailey Mountain's southeast side. The Appalachian Barn Alliance, among its other goals, has a vision to create a heritage farmstead here at the Smith Farm to showcase the mountain barn building traditions of the past 200 years. Let's take a look at the three barns already present on the Smith Farm. Here we have the oldest barn of the three, the Livestock Bank Barn. In our hilly mountain terrain, it was common to build back into the earthen bank, giving direct access to the second floor hayloft. The lower floor contained the stalled for draft animals such as horses, mules, and sometimes oxen. This is a mid 20th century barn. The lower angle of the roof line tells us that metal roofing was available at this time, replacing the traditional split oak wood shingle roofing. If you look closely, you can see a hint of the original red paint on the outside wall, typical of almost all barns at one time. Here we see the hallway to the lower level where the animal stalls are located. Now we're flying around the newest and smallest barn at the Smith Farm. This was a common all-purpose barn, which may have housed farm equipment, extra hay, and even surplus burley tobacco when the main burley tobacco barn wasn't large enough. More recently, this was a calving barn, a shelter to help newborn calves gain their strength before starting their lives out in the pasture. Again, notice just a hint of the old red paint on the weathered board siding. Here we go, right over the metal roof. Hold up your feet. Now we see the last Smith Farm barn, the Burley Tobacco Barn. This is large for a typical Burley barn measuring 60 feet long and 36 feet wide. But its distinguishing feature is that it has seven levels or tiers for hanging the air-cured tobacco, making it higher than most burly barns in the region. How would you like to have to climb all the way up to the top tier pole, 36 feet above the ground? As we come around, Look down the long side walls and notice the horizontal hinged doors. These were open to allow more airflow to the tobacco inside. This view gives us a good idea of just how large this barn is, and it likely held several acres worth of tobacco, requiring many people, men and women, to harvest and hang it on all seven tiers. Okay, hold on. We're going to fly right through the central hallway. Look at all those poles. Watch your head. Whoa, now you see all those tear poles up close. Imagine all that tobacco being hung and taken down in the fall and hauled to market. We hope you now know more about the Livestock Bank Barn, the all-purpose barn, the Burley Tobacco Barn, and the beginnings of our Heritage Farmstead. Thanks for joining us.